Hi everyone. In today's video, we are going to cover the following topics. The first one is how to add a time stored as a text and convert them into minutes or hours. The second one is date time subtraction. So now let's quickly move into PBX file and get started. So here is the file. And if I go to the data here, so this is my first data set, fact order. And if you notice here, I have the date which is stored as a uh, time, which is stored as a text. So if you look at the properties, it's stored as a text. So what I need to do is I need to add this time taken for each order and then get the aggregated number. So I need to sum it up and then see, okay, uh, how, how, how much time it took for India and for Singapore. So what I can do is I can write, a, add a new column here. Just give it a couple of seconds. Okay. So here it is. I will add a new column, time taken. First, I'll convert this into minutes. So as a first step, I'm gonna take the uh, hard part from this data. So we have the function called as har, which will return me the uh, time taken in hours. The first part. So if uh, let's say for this order, we have seven hours, 15 minutes and 12 seconds. So I will be getting seven. Back to other time taken. So if I hit enter, you will notice that I'm getting only the hard part from this data set. So you can see here it's seven, eight, six. Okay, and then I'm gonna multiply this with 60 so that I can convert this into minutes. And the next step I will be adding, I'll be getting the minutes part from this column. Time taken from this column, sorry. So once I have the minutes, I need to get the seconds. Second from the same column, this one. However, I'm gonna divide this by 60 to convert into minutes. So I have the time taken in minutes. Let me rename this, okay? So I, I got the time taken in minutes now. So once we have the minutes, it's pretty straightforward. We can convert this into hours or days. So what I can do is I can go back to my report here. Add a new measure. Let's get the minutes equal to sum of time taken in minutes. So let me bring this to this matrix here. Values, so we have the values in minutes. So if I expand this, you can see for each order ID how long it took. And then I can simply convert this into hours. I can simply divide this, divide the minutes by twenty four to convert this, sorry, divide by sixty to get this in hours. So we can bring this here. So we have it in hearts. Or else, I can simply convert this into this as well. It's equal to, I can use the hearts. Divide the hearts by 24, which 
gives me the day. So this is one way I can do this. Okay. So we have the minutes are assigned this. Assume that you don't want to add a column, something like this, right? Time taken in minutes. You can simply copy this. Go back here. So instead of creating a column, you can directly do this as a measure. So what I'm gonna do is copy it in the measure. I'll call this as minutes measure. So here I'm gonna use the sum x function. Sum x, the table is fact order. And then simply use this as expression. So the evaluation happens record by record, row by row. So if you notice here, so if I bring this to the values, time taken, minutes measure, I should get the same results. So you can see the numbers are exactly the same. So instead of creating a new column, you can directly do this as a measure. So this is how we can convert time stored as a text into hour sign minutes. The next demo is related to subtraction. When we have the date and time. So in this case, you can see we have the order date time and delivery date time right in this uh, fact order too. So what I can do is to get the time difference between these two, I can use the built-in DAX function. So I'll call this as time taken equal to, maybe I need this in, let's assume that I want this in hours. Okay, let me call this as hours is equal to, we have the date diff function. Use order, delivery, order time, date time. And the second one is order, delivery date and time. And the interval, I need to specify what interval I need. So I need this in hard. So I'm going to specify it as hard. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. And now you have the time taken in hours. So this is how we can do this. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions or doubts, please drop me a note in the comment section. And thanks for watching.